So, uh, here we are in San Antonio, Omar, how do you feel? I feel great, you know, I just defeated one of my toughest opponents, which is a scale. Yeah, so, very good. And how was the training camp? Training camp went great. It was it, it was a perfect training camp. Um, weight was coming down smooth. I have no I had no problems with the weight uh, during camp. Um, I was healthy. I was in shape. I mean, it was uh, as good as a camp as any. After uh, a whole year with uh, Diaz last year and now going on your, on your second year with him, what did you learn from? A lot. You know, uh, aside from boxing. A lot of life lessons, you know, uh, being away from home and everything, it's humbling, uh, you're, you're with complete strangers, I mean they become your family, they, 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 they mold you and they take care of you and you know, you, you, you have other people and, and uh, it's just another family of mine. So um, aside from knowing that I have a great family support here uh, in Texas, it's good to know that I have another family in, in California that will take care of me. What's uh, what's on, what's in store for tomorrow night? A good fight. I mean the the, the, the same Omar Figueroa as always. I'm gonna go in there. I wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and uh, finish him off, punish him as much as possible. Great. Thank you. Tomorrow, tell me a little bit about how was campus? How was campus time around Omar? Oh, camp was great. Uh, Omar came uh, for this training camp. He came uh, early. He came in early in the early in the year, January 6th. He came to camp. We had plenty of time to uh, to work basically more uh, on the weight. And uh, it was at the right time that he came in because already Bradley was training, Vicente Escobedo was training. So we had all perfect sparring, man. Uh, Omar was helping uh, Bradley get ready for his fight. And uh, uh, Bradley was helping him. So we all, you know, we all got, uh, got together as far as sparring. Everything was great. Uh, he's really, he's really strong. He's really, he's really focused. He came in on weight, so we're just waiting for tomorrow. How have you seen him, uh, you know, over the past year and a few months? How have you seen him develop from last January to this January? Well, he's maturing. The boy is still maturing, uh, fight after fight. After his last fight with Salcido, I see he, uh, he learned a lot. You know, that was a big, that was a fight for him that, you know, he had to prove something because uh, Salcido, has Salcido been in the game for a while. And he's a, he was a tough opponent, very skillful opponent, and it was just the right fight for him to, to learn off of it and, 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 get, and just be better. What are you expecting tomorrow night against his opponent? Short night. I expect a short night tomorrow because he, uh, the layoff really gave him the rest. He wasn't as bored as he was at the end of the year last year, so he's gonna be ready tomorrow. He's gonna come in hungry to finish uh, our lot early in the fight and move on to uh, to our next fight. What do you foresee for him in the future? I mean, I know every trainer said the world championship, world title, but seriously, well, what, this, what's the limit for Omar? Omar is a fighter that has a style that nobody has. I have never seen a style like Omar. And another thing, Omar hits really hard. He fights at 135, 140, and he hits like a 54 pounder. He has a lot of power in his fist, and he has a lot of heart. He loves getting hit. That's one of the things that make him different. Uh, I have no doubt in my mind that this guy will be a superstar in boxing.